Amigos, let me rip you off, more junk! <laughs> <laughs> That's the one. Help us, help us! We need money for the wall! <laughs> there you go. You need money for the wall, right? All the way, baby! Yeah. What we got? Alright, so this will be, I think, let's see. I parked right across from the A. No, that ain't it. It looks like that. But I don't think I got a Chevrolet. Hell, I should have looked to see what kind of car I got. Hola, amigos. I got me a uh, rocket ship. But we'll take a gas. Right now I'm in play a car and I'm heading down to Tulum today. So stick around. Let's see if we can find us a Tulum taco or see what's in Tulum. All right, y'all. I'm down here in Tulum. Just got to Tulum. And uh, actually it looks pretty cool. It started coming down rain. I think I'm gonna get a break here in a little bit. I'm gonna find, yeah, I, I just smell it. I mean, I wish you could, wish this thing had smell-o-vision, but uh, you can smell it in the air. I mean, I, I smell everything cooking all around here, but there is like food joints up and down the streets everywhere. They look awesome. So this place right here really smells good. So I'm gonna see what I can find to uh, chew on. Maybe find one or two places. And I think I passed the ruins going in. Maybe I go to the ruins. Tell you what, we're just gonna walk up and down this little area and see what pops out. That's, I mean, there's shops everywhere. Must be a, a tremendous amount of people that stay here in this in town. I know there's a lot of people stay on the beach, but uh, there's, I mean, there's shops and food joints everywhere. I wasn't really expecting this big of a, a town. Nice hammocks. I love the hammocks. All right, y'all. I walked up and down the street a little ways and uh, I saw a lot lots of nice looking restaurants and i really couldn't find one i've seen a lot of tourist people in them so i got off the side street a little bit and i see this place and i see people everywhere i got to go here i don't know if they got music or not if they do which i can't imagine them not having music but if they do i'll just turn the sound off and uh maybe i can get some footage of the kitchen and show you what they cook. But this is what we got. Taqueria for you. So looks like a real uh, local taqueria. Got to try it. Let me get up there in line. When I order, I'll uh, I'll show you what we get. All right, guys, I got it. Hola. Menu. Oh, All right, I I just got in here and uh it's probably about a 10 minute wait and this place must really be famous or popular around here okay cross this amigo and look at the line now this is uh 10 o'clock it ain't even lunchtime so i can imagine what it is at lunchtime or nighttime i don't know if they open at night but anyway we're gonna take a look at the menu let me show you the menu actually it's in english uh, I can actually order here. Wow. Okay. Well, let me get something ordered and let's see what uh, what comes out. Maybe I can talk this guy into showing us the kitchen. Okay, I want to get the uh, cucina and a uh, uno and uno. And let me get a corn asada quesadilla. Okay. And bevin 
Apa? Ayo, baru. Tulangannya? Yes. Okay. Ready then. Yeah. Everything. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Now, will you uh, will you video your kitchen? Yeah. Just take the camera and. No, it's okay. Okay. When you have time. Yeah. 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 Alright, so I just ordered, I got ordered a uh, uh, lechon taco, a, uh, they got another pork which is like a marinated pork, uh, suckling pig, and then they got a quesadilla, so I got a uh, beef quesadilla, and we'll check it out, and he, he said he would video the uh, kitchen for it, so that's going to be awesome, let's wait for it to come out, see, will you do this, you be the cameraman, too, okay. you, I give you a chip. Yeah. Okay. Good deal. Hello. Nando. Nando. Sorry, I'm not going to grab a cup of water. I'm not going to grab a cup of water. I'm not going to grab a cup of water. Madre, ya no viene. No, está por justo, se apagó. Se apagó, no sé qué le pasa. Se apagó, no sé. Es off. Es fine. Thank you so much. He thought the uh, he thought the camera cut off because the screen cut off. But anyway, I'll see you when it comes out. Just brought it out. Let me show you what we got. All right, so this would be uh, the suckling, just any the uh, marinated pork. Yeah. And this is lechon. Lechon, yeah. Quesadilla. Uh, Quesadilla. Is this is spicy. Spicy? Yeah. Because I was saying with the banana. This is avocado, cilantro. Avocado, okay. Yeah. Thank you so much. Hey, uh, how much do you llamo? Yobani. 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 Thank you so much. So that's sucking pig, uh, lechon, and this is uh, the beef quesadilla. Uh, we got pico de gallo, and he said that one's hot. So that one's gonna burn your ass up. Uh, that one there is uh, guacamole salsa and lime. Let's check it out. All right. Actually, I want to try that marinated pork first. That one looks so good. And their menu wasn't like lots and lots of different items. So uh, it looks like they specialize in, you know, just a couple things. And generally that's when you find, you know, your best stuff. Someone that don't have a lot of stuff, and this many people, it's got to be good. And this is supposed to be uh, over a pit. So they cook this over a pit. Oh my god. That is so good. That pork. It's just like a barbecue pork, like we do in America. Over uh, over coals. It's so good. And it's just like, you don't even chew it. I mean, they have to cook that thing for hours and hours. Alright, let's check out this place, Sean. It's actually got some stuff on it already. So we're gonna put more. And let's see how hot this right here is. He said it's hot. Who am I to argue with him? Uh, put some lime on it. Let's try the lechon. Oh, it's crispy too. Mm. Oh wow. Yeah. That crunchy pig skin. Wow. That's the best one. I love that. Of course, I like crispy. That thing is so good. Mm. Oh my god. I could probably eat five or six of those. Wow. Right. We gotta get to the ruins. Looks like the rain. Woo! 
Holy shit. He ain't lying, that thing is hot. Oh my god. Ooh. Damn gringo can't take that. Oh my god. Alright, let's try. Ooh. Let's put some of that air on it. Maybe that'll cool it off. I'm gonna put some of that on the quesadilla. And the avocado sauce also wasn't that hot. I just need something. I don't know what I need. Milk, I think. Alright, let's take a bite of this. And then we're gonna go to them ruins. And check them out. Hopefully the rain lets us. Or lets me. I hate to say it. But I love it. That beef. It's like a, uh, a charred steak. Like you eat a rib out of steak. And it's got that charred outside. That's what it tastes like. It's just like smoky charred flavor. Gosh. There ain't nothing bad here. Alright, so. What Chakaria Oreo. If you come to Tulum, or even if you go to play at Carmen, get on the ADO bus. I actually parked right across the road in the ADO bus stop. Um, just get on the ADO bus, it costs you six bucks. Ride down here for the day, and then catch the ADO bus right back, it'll be worth it. Come here, Chakaria Horio. Okay, just got the checkout, and uh, I'll show you what it looks like. So 114 pesos. That's about five dollars. Anyway, awesome deal. Looks like the sky might be clearing back in the background. Let's hope it gets out of here. Oh, lightning's popping. <laughs> what you do in the name of journalism, huh? Go to Tulum in a thunderstorm. But actually, this is a really cool town. I mean, they got all your excursions. So if you come in here and stay in town, uh, you got all your travel places everywhere, all your excursions everywhere. Same thing you got in Playa del Carmen. Scuba, there's scuba over there. Tequila, of course tequila's everywhere. Ice cream, good gosh, I would love to get you one of them. Let's take a look at it. I just ain't got room in my belly. Mm -hmm. Let's get away from that music there. This place right here actually looks real cool. It's across the street. Let's see if I can get the name of it. Um, if I couldn't find anything else, that was my uh, that was my go-to spot. Let's see, Mariachi Locos. But yeah, the seats in there, just the atmosphere, it looks real cool. This, this place right here is actually pretty packed. Uh, we got a guy up here singing, Don Cafeteria Restaurant. But they're doing karaoke at 10 o'clock in the morning. 10.30 now. I 
I mean, there's shops and stuff everywhere. All right, guys, I found the rocket ship. It is a Dodge. I knew I had no damn shit to lay. All right, we're right across the street. You see that green building? Uh, right beside the tall one, right by the Hotel Central. ADO Terminal. If you get on the bus, that's where it's gonna drop you off, right here, right in the center of town. So you can walk around all day, get on the bus, and go back in the evening. It's well worth doing. All right, y'all, I just came in here. Let me show you how to get in here, if you do drive. Um, up straight ahead of us is a gate, right? And it's got crossbars. You just pull up there and you mash the button and it gives you a ticket. It's got a time stamp on the ticket. And I'm guessing when you leave here, um, they you pay by the time you was here or something. I don't, I'm not sure how that works yet, but I'll let you know. The In the front, when you first come in, there's guys everywhere telling you stop 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 just keep going just park back here uh i think they're trying to just sell you parking and there's parking back here and now i got to find out where to buy the ticket i see let's take a look here's a big big building right here in front of us and there's guys everywhere like this guy here and this guy they all will sell you guide you know so if you want to be a guide let's see pay your parking ticket here wow oh shit okay now i'll tell you exactly what you need to do with your parking ticket so i got to go back to the car and get my ticket out because i don't want to take it with me in case i lose it so i guess when you uh whenever you're ready to pay for your parking you stick it in this machine and pay for it that's cool so so it's not timed i guess how do they let you oh it's got a uh, it's got a code on the back a barcode so i'm guessing they you scan your barcode and it shows it's paid now that's smart okay i can't take you over there they got music but i got to find where you buy your entrance ticket at it's got to be right here all right once i find that out i'll let you know amigos let me rip you off more junk <laughs> <laughs> that's the one Help us, help us! We need money for the wall! <laughs> there you go. Need money for the wall, right? All the way, baby! Yeah, all right. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yeah, that's funny. You pay your ticket, and that gives you the entrance to all them shops and all the beginnings and all that kind of stuff. And then you walk back, or if you don't want to walk, there's a bus that you can pay him to get in, get on the bus. But then you come to a spot right here. Ticket. 80. I hope it's 80 pesos. Anyway, we'll find out. I'm gonna get uh, I'm gonna get a ticket and we're gonna check this place out. Okay, so very important. Uh, the entrance. When you get all the way to the back, there's a booth right there. And what's so important about it is he don't have any change. Boy, he said he don't have change. Everybody buys tickets, but he don't have no change. But anyway. Uh, it's 80 pesos luckily i had 80 pesos actually i had it in coin from riding all them buses so anyway make sure you have 80 pesos with you exactly and um that's all it is to it walk as far as you can walk and you'll come to a square like this with a wall all right and what i found out is, is very interesting chitsen itza uh and some of the other developments around chitsen itza was you know 600 a.d to 1500 and they reigned until the spanish come and you know forced their will upon them and anyway they abandoned chitsen itza and moved to tulum and they built there uh because in chitsen itza they couldn't feed the population that they built for the cities and in tulum you had cenotes you had all the cenotes so you had the fresh water and then you had the reef that runs all the way in front of here that goes all the way to uh belize of course belize wasn't there back then but anyway that's why there's so many ruins here i thought that was really really interesting let's uh let's go through this wall here and check it out Let's see. Lens, lens is good. And then you enter the city. 
I don't know if this wide lens does us any justice, but I tell you the truth, I, I'm, I'm kind of speechless. I wasn't exactly sure I was going to see much, but this right here is absolutely amazing. It's amazing what all happened here. Look at a little iguana sitting there. All right, and I think I see I see stuff everywhere about the tower. I'm guessing that's the tower there. Um, anyway, you can get a guide. I mean, there's guides everywhere, uh, hollering guide, 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 guide. But you learn enough just because there's guides everywhere. You know, you can learn a little bit from each person just walking past them. And then, of course, you got your security guys here. Uh, wow. Now, this is a cool spot. This is the back side of the main tower, and it's built. Look at these cliffs. And out here, and you can see where the water is breaking along the line. That is the reef, the coral system. It goes all up and down through here. And uh, that's where they fished. And right here, this is the uh, North Tulum Beach. So if you're going to Tulum Beach to uh, for vacation, that's probably either there or, you know, it goes way down. But uh, North's a real popular place. But this is absolutely incredible. You have to come here just to see it. We'll see if uh, Chichen Itza is more or less impressive, but uh, I'm, I'm really shocked about this one. All right guys, I made it back. I'm gonna show you how to do the ticket. So it's 80, 80 pesos to get in. Got to have exact change. Let's see, it says ticket up like this. So make sure you bring some cash for uh, 60 pesos. All right, I'll stick a 200 in there. Let's see if it likes it. Hope so. Good thing I brought some small bills. No 500s. Let's see what happens, probably. Probably damn all change. Oh, oh God. Oh God. Oh, good. Thank you, thank you baby Jesus. Where's my ticket, por favor? Okay, now I'm gonna get me another taco with that. So it's pretty simple. Just don't listen to nobody when you come in. Um, everybody flagging you down. Keep on going. Go to the back. Get your little ticket. It's 60 pesos. Yeah, you can't really beat it. That's uh two dollars fifty cent parking. And 80 pesos to get in. So about four dollars to get in. If I'd listen to everybody else, I could have spent a hundred dollars here. Uh now you can't get a guide. A guide, I would guess they're probably thirty or forty dollars for the guide. And if you got the time, you want to listen to somebody tell you a lot of history, it might be a good thing to do. I didn't want no guide. I want to do my own thing. So anyway. It's worth it.